and I've spit all my food on my computer screen and keyboard. I'm trying to clean it up right now. <laughs> oh my god. Well, if it's any consolation, it smells horrible in here now. <coughs> oh, there's... <laughs> And with that, welcome back to John City. Oh, oh my god. Your fart had a perfect pitch to it, dude. <laughs> like, I can hear it echo in your mic. <laughs> dude, it's still all over my fucking screen. I'm picking it off right now. Oh my god. Yeah, I feel like I can smell that from over here. The yeah, after effect. 4D. <laughs> okay. So, we're back... Uh, here with uh, oh, Twilight Zombie Slayer today. My name is Bander, as always. Hi, guys. And, um, this scene might look familiar to some of you. Probably not, since there's only, like, three people that we're talking to right now. Um, <laughs> this is actually where we filmed the very first episode. It was right here, is where we started, and it proceeded to a, a snowball of events that led to Dylan's eventual banishment, and lots of other things that we still reference every now and then. Ba, ba, mm -hmm. ba, 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 ba. And the world's worst night watch. Anyway. Uh huh. So we're here in Jot City, like the title of the series, which we <laughs> never go to anymore. Minecraft Jot City. I, we haven't, I, I don't think I've filmed any bit in Jot City unless it was just me passing through to go somewhere. No, the only the only place twenty episodes. only places yeah the only place we filmed was when I was doing the, the tasks over here. Well, no, I've done and we, and, and we had we had the spleef episode or when uh when I was re inaugurated. Yeah, but no, no I definitely of, had some pass passing by episodes where I've gone to get like supplies or something like that. Uh, and then um and then well, oh just, there just was um, the, there was Thomas and Charles we were here during Thomas and Charles that oh, was like episode true. like fifteen or something. What are we up to? I think we're at 47 or 8. <clears throat> yeah. What if yeah. this was episode 50? That would be quite magical. But anyway, Wait, let's hold actually... on. Wait, should... Should... Wait, should I check real quick? Um, I can check right now. Let's see. Uh... If anyone, if, if anyone's uh, wondering what's that delicious, crunchy sound in the background, I'm munching down some matcha nachos. From Del Taco or Taco Bell? Del Taco. It is episode 48. Oh, almost there. Oh, we'll do... Maybe we'll do something special for episode 50. But anyway, so today we are going to officially start on a project we've been um, talking about for a very long time. We said, we said in the beginning of the series, the sick walk, we said in the beginning of the series that we would, that we're going to do the, the band arc with Dylan where we get him back into the thing. And then uh, start working on the Nether Hub was the next big project, which took, I think, five months. <laughs> and was kind of boring, to be honest, in terms of a lot of the grind of it. Yeah. But. Don't, don't you, good, don't you agree with that? I agree. I was the only okay, one doing it. Okay, but the good thing about this... Oh, look, this is where I killed Bob. See what's in my hand right now? This is mutton. I will kill you oh with God. Bob's remains. Anyway. Um, but it's good because now we are starting a new thing that we're all going to be involved in. Yay. Well, it's, it's going to be something where... It's going to be something where you can... You can do your own thing, but still contribute to the community scene. And where it's something like um, the whole grand vision of the project. Are you are you just standing there? Macho, macho. Macho, macho. Where the whole vision of the project doesn't revolve around a central theme or idea. So it's, it's something where I can step back and say, okay, Dylan, you can do this. And whatever you come up with is what we'll go with. Because the problem with the Nether Hub was it was pretty much... I took the entire lead. Actually, no, we need to go this way. And I we took didn't the have lead a vision. And, well, I had a vision, and Joey and I never got the vision. Well, you, know, you guys weren't, you guys weren't allowed to have to take part of it. <laughs> we, we weren't allowed. 
we weren't allowed to have vision. <laughs> you weren't allowed to see. In in John in John City, it's a communist. Communist government. Communist Joe government. tells you what, what to do. Joe tells you if you can have fun. Joe tells you if you can have your own vision. In there is no freedom. There is no freedom in Jot City. In communist Minecraft, Jot City's you. <laughs> in communist... <coughs> Joe on the chip. <laughs> Joe, 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 chip took you. <laughs> oh my god. All right. <laughs> No, but a chip chokes you normally. It's you choke the chip. <laughs> you touche. Oh my god. Anyway, um, chip yeah, just like I was saying, with with the Nether Hub, uh, it was basically like it was something that I was gonna be passing through a lot. I was gonna be doing a lot of episodes in, where it's like, and let's be honest, your building skills were not up to par for a grand server based project. And since then, you guys have definitely improved in terms of your building. And this project itself can be done, have more simpler designs in terms of smaller parts of it, and can still feel like it's adding to the whole major feel of the build. Uh, but I guess without further ado, we can announce what we're doing, because we are going to be starting on the wonderful world that is Naviland! <laughs> it's going to be an amusement park based off of you know classic uh, amusement park style rides, with the inspiration of Minecraft and the engine. So, you know, obvious things like roller coasters, uh, but less, more complicated things like bumper cars, kind of things, water slides, using redstone mechanics and Minecraft mechanics that kind of take advantage of specific features. And, and imagination. Imagination. And then, as well as, I've been having a lot of ideas of using sort of classic game styles like Mario Kart and Mario Party and Tetris kind of things to I don't actually have an idea for you, you know where you know where you're still going right yeah it's literally like right here and uh, wait why the fuck why the fuck did you throw Tetris in there I don't know just arcade style games and stuff to have to, to work with and this, this this right here I was I'll explain what that is in a bit but uh, so here it is this is our this is our plot of land and uh, to explain why I've chosen this plot of land I wanted something like a big, wide open field to work with, and uh, I just happened upon this spot right here, as you can see, right? Oh, let me get you, mm -hmm. let, me, let me make you a bed. Um, and so, uh, I was going around with some wood. Da, 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 da. Can, I have a, can I have a bed that uh, uses only the finest of Bob's wool? Uh, well, I've been collecting wool from around the sheep here, so. Oh, no, I should use the gray wool. I don't need that gray wool. Half of it is gray wool, if that makes you happy. And so right. I was scattering around, and I wanted to find a big open field. I couldn't really find the field that I was wa wa wanting because I really wanted something expansive. But then I decided that, you know, maybe having like, just the entire thing ba based on a plains biome wouldn't be the most exciting thing. And so I kind of stumbled around this area. And if you'll take a walk with me, you'll see that, you know, obviously we have plains right here. We have the kind of tundra snow forest right here. Uh, a regular forest right here. And uh, if you were to sprint with me, so we can get there faster. Um, it's, well, I mean, it's always good to have elevation, I guess. It doesn't necessarily have to be... Elevation? Flat. Well, flat flatness definitely helps with building. It's definitely a lot easier. But that's not, that's not the point I was trying to make. Because the planes here is sufficient enough, probably for the whole build, let's be honest. I don't think we'll ever... I, I don't plan to actually finish Naviland. I have planned to just, you know, it's going to be something that consistently is built. But anyway, so over here, there's a swamp. There's a desert that expands off that way a lot more. There's a jungle that expands off this way. And a little bit more plains and I believe some extreme hills somewhere around that area. But anyway, we have, we have access to the original biomes of Minecraft. So no mesas or ice plains, but we can pretty much have a lot of, like, theme areas. Like, kind of like how Disneyland has, you know, Frontierland, Fantasyland, uh... Future land, I mean Tomorrowland, uh, Toontown as well, stuff like that. And Supposedly so we have, they're taking out uh, Tomorrowland, by the way. Okay, but anyways, continue. Tomorrowland? Why would they take out Tomorrowland? They're turning it into Star Wars land. Okay. Are they, they gonna just do, purchased... they're going to do Avengers land? If they're going to do Star Wars land, they should put it in California. Avengers? No. I don't know. Okay. let me. I know we're going off I mean, topic Marvel. and everyone's going to see it. Marvel? Okay, but this is the thing. Is Marvel isn't 
all of Disneyland. Uh, California Adventure is Pixar. Cars is Pixar. Bugs Life is Pixar. Uh, Boy Stories is Pixar. All the stuff in in, in uh, Brother Bear is Pixar. Brother Bear is not Pixar. Monster. Right yes, it is. No. Yes, it is. No. Yes, it is. I'm going to Wikipedia. Brother Bear is not even like 3D animation. It's 2D. You can keep talking so that it's not blank video footage while I'm looking this up. Disney slash Pixar prepared a special trailer for Brother Bear to show before finding Nemo. Blah, blah, blah. Yes, it is with Pixar. Production company, Walt Disney Pictures, Walt Disney Feature Animation. And I found one that said Pixar. You just said the trailer was made in, from Pixar. It said Pixar released the trailer. Pixar, it's the same Pixar shit. Pixar released the trailer? No, I have, I'm standing by my, my statement. I have, I have proven through Wikipedia that Brother Bear, oh look, Brother Bear video game, is not from <laughs> Pixar, <laughs> but is from Disney. Because Pix, because it's 2D animation, of course it's not Pixar. Pixar does the 3D. Right? Uh, dude. Okay, it's fine. Okay, no. Finding Nemo is Cars is from. Every Pixar movie has been like 3D animation. Toy Story. Toy Story is 3D? Think about Toy Story. They're 3D models in a 3D space. True. Well, most of it's Pixar. They have Pixar shit all in there. They even have a Pixar studio thing that you can walk through and see how they make the, the shit. Buzz Lightyear's from Disneyland, though. Did they move it? What do you mean? The Buzz Lightyear shooter ride? Yeah, it's in Disneyland. Did they move it? Yeah, the Buzz Lightyear... No, no, no. It's still in Disneyland. Oh, uh, they have another Disneyland. one. There's no, not yet. Uh, they have another one that's called Toy Story... Mania. Uh, Mania, yeah. Toy Story... And it has Buzz Lightyear and... It has uh, aspects from Toy Story. But I heard that they're going to be taking out the... The Buzz Lightyear ride and making a Jedi training... Thing. Okay. Well, maybe they're doing. Maybe they're moving that towards that sort of thing. And as far as the Marvel thing goes, um, I don't think they would focus more on Marvel because the only thing that they have in, of Marvel is in you know that huge like circular innovations thing that they have the uh, yeah. the futuristic shit in there. Not Epcot. It's not Disneyland. Epcot's in Florida. I know that. Yeah, this is just a little circular building. Yeah, at Disneyland. Well, they could it's, they could they could start working more towards. I mean, yeah, Marvel I guess they could. And Star but... Wars kind of deals because there's a pretty big areas and Magic Mountain has DC. Yeah. Man, DC announces as like I I fear for DC's survivability as a movie as a movie production studio because they just announced they just announced freaking Suicide Squad movie Suicide Squad. Why? What the? Really? It's like. Like they they they're really trying to capitalize on the on Marvel's success in the cinematic in, in Marvel cinematic universe, and they are they haven't had a very they haven't had any success except for Batman. Like Superman wasn't a huge success, not as much as say Iron Man three or Avengers or even Captain America two. Well, they have Guardians the of the Galaxy. Super like Marvel is churning out. High quality, well, high quality is arguable, but you know, high success movies like five every year. Uh -huh. X Men was X Men was really good this year. Guardians was really good. Well, well X Men is not. Never mind. X, X Men is not Marvel Cinematic Universe. They may. Well, they do have the Batman vs Superman coming out. Well. <laughs> That could, that's, you know, has potential. I'm not actually that excited for that anyway. Um, anyway, let's get back to Navi. Fuck it, fucking, fucking Ben Affleck is starring as Batman. He should die. Okay, let's, 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 let's be, let's be willing to accept the possibility that Ben Affleck can be a good Batman. What, can, can you, can you quit with the noise?
so much noise. Sorry, it's, it, it's the macho nachos. Well, enough of the macho nachos. Ooh, they're soggy, you know? And well, I actually took, I, I took my last bite, so. Okay, well, we're not going to with the noise, man. Um, I'm talking about Ben Affleck right now. Why, why, why do you think Ben Affleck is not going to be a good Batman? People were saying that yeah. about Heath Ledger. People were saying the exact same things about Heath Ledger. Ben Affleck was fucking Daredevil. That that wasn't Ben Affleck's fault. The like movie you can't was blame shit. you can't blame the head actor for a movie with terrible writing and a terrible production. No, but you can blame Mark for Wahlberg you can, was in Transformers can, Four. Is Mark Wahlberg blah, Marky Mark? A bad actor because of Transformers <laughs> 4? No? <laughs> you called him Marky e. Mark. Yeah. <laughs> no, but Ben Affleck's just shit. He's, you know who they should have had start as Batman? Who? Christian Bale. He would be great. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> You know what I mean? The... <laughs> you have Batman. no basis for your opinion no, 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 about whether or not Ben listen, Affleck would be a good listen, Batman. Listen, you have no listen, basis listen. for it. Admit it. No basis for it. What listen, name one listen, movie? Listen. Name one movie you've seen with Ben Affleck in it. Daredevil. <laughs> one. Oh my god. Okay, just just picture this. Just picture this. Batman or Superman starring. David Wait, Spade. <laughs> no. Um, who who would a Superman be? The current super. Who's the current Superman actor? I don't know. Either. I don't know. Ryan Reynolds. Batman <laughs> starring Adam Sandler. Jeez. What if Adam? <laughs> Adam Sandler. <laughs> oh my god! That would be the funniest thing ever, dude. No! 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 I know, I know this is, uh, look, I know this is like uh, the most overused joke for actor references possible, but I actually think this actor could pull it off, making it badass and hilarious at the same time. And that actor is Nick Cage as Batman. I, I could see that. I think Nick Cage would be one of the most unique Batmans possible where it's it's one of those he can do the badass but he can also do the funny hilarious like oh my god it's Nick Cage he's so you know but I mean Batman movies terrible. aren't that comedic I mean they have maybe one funny scene in it but <laughs> well new Batman movies um, and let's 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 be honest Marvel Cinematic Universe isn't winning through pure like action thriller style movies they're winning through you know s simpler plot designs with more focus on you know quick punch lines and heavy like build-up scenes like yeah in guardians of the galaxy it's a comedy is it nighttime again jesus is it about marvel why are we talking about marvel we should be getting to. We should be. Let, let's get. Let, let's finish the the opening of Navyland so that we can uh, get on to like our little more podcasty style uh, work that we're going to be doing today. I claim this land, Navyland. Oh, it's good you have those yeah. blocks. I need those blocks. Um. So the that that thing right there is just marking the center between uh, that tree and that. A tree over there just helps me visualize it. G and Genius. Is this where the front gate's going to be sitting? Yeah, like right about where I'm standing is where the front gate should be. And so what I'm envisioning is sort of because I was looks, looking up, I was looking, I was having trouble with this earlier because I was trying to do like looks, a little closer tycoon style. And okay. um, I looked up amusement park uh, entrances and I found Legoland's one. And it's like kind of like a very flat. Like a castle. Uh huh. No, it's not really like a castle, but like the little little park engines. Like it's a big banner that says Legoland, and so it kind of kind of gave me an idea of have Navyland spelled out in quartz blocks, stairs and half slabs and stuff to spell it like Navyland. Uh, behind it is Cyan 
wool bordered in black and then held up by kind of a thin kind of um, uh, rector set kind of uh, scaffolding kind of structure, metal scaffolding of some sort. Okay, with like like cross cross metal, like going diagonal as well? Yeah, yeah, something like that. Okay. What do you think? And it... What about, and then we're going to have, like, are the ticket booths going to be appeared before you reach the gate, or is it going to be, like, ticket booths? I think booths, the ticket booths metal. behind it. So you enter the gate, and then you go to the ticket booth? Yeah. Okay. And then um, there's another gate with, like, the... The, the only issue, the only issue with that, I think it should be the opposite way. I think, I think maybe we should put the, we'll put the ticket booths over here where we're standing. And metal detectors, and then the gate, the front gate will be where you have that the, the line of dirt right there. But I feel like it would just, uh, I mean, we, we can well, flatten we'll, it we'll out. Just, well, with, with the security uh, metal detectors and like the little slots you go through, um, there's going to be another like sort of set piece there as well. Oh, Cause like, okay. Because like right here, right here, I want it here uh, because I want you to be like enter, entering the park here. Because right here is where it spreads all out. Because like you know, you know, um, well, Magic Mountain is not a very good example of this because it kind of goes into like a shopping like a, area. Well, it goes into a shopping area, and then it's kind of like a very like small kind of circle part. And yeah, you kind of like have turn to left or right. A, you kind of look, have to travel in a loop. Versus Disneyland, which is Main Street, very far up towards the castle, and then it spreads out. You can go any way you want. Yeah. So so more like Disneyland in a style. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So I'm down. Um, For those of you who don't know have... Magic Mountain, it's uh, Six Flags Magic Mountain located in Los Angeles is what we're talking about. It's, uh, we, we we may live near there. Or we may, I may have lived near there. Or <laughs> I may be from there and Dylan may still we, live there. We, we may be able to see it from our backyards, but that's about it. I might have been able to. <laughs> I think you uh, are. I can't do it right now. Dude, I get, yes, I, I get I get Pandora I get Pandora ads for Six Flags Great Adventure San Francisco. That's pretty cool. Like I don't get Magic Mountain ads. What about Universal? What does Universal do? I can't even remember. Universal, you walk in and it has a little fountain where that dude pretends he's a statue and walks around. And then you walk down and on the left hand side is the the little like uh uh, scary thingy, the scary maze type deal. And on the right side, if you keep, huh? No, no, not the mummy, the maze. The maze. Remember, dude, dude I can't, I, go- I can't remember at all about Universal. Last time I went there, last time I went to Universal, probably my birthday with you guys. Okay, yeah. When you walk into Universal, you walk into like a little shop. There's a little shop on the left, shop on the right. Well, we're not talking about like right. studio or boardwalk. Okay, so, no, 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 it's not. You, right as you walk in the front gates, there's a shop on the left. There's like, there's buildings on the right. And then to the right, you can go to Waterworld, the show. And then you can go to the tram on the right hand side and then turns into the Simpsons on the right. Again? Yeah, Nickelodeon, then, then the. Uh, like to, to me, Simpsons it's, like, area. it's like Nickelodeon Simpsons area is like on the right, and then the back left is like Jurassic Park, right? Yeah, but also on the left is also. Um, Tram? The, studio tour? No, studio tour is on the right hand side. Oh. I don't know. <laughs> it's it's and like it, I'm 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 remembering the literally the map of, of yeah. Universal it, much it's it's not it's not too big either. And nice they're creating here Harry, Harry Potter World coming soon. Oh, yeah. Well they already have it in Florida. Yeah, but have you been to the one in Florida? Did not think so. No, no, because you know actually what happened. I was at Florida, um, junior high school, I think, and um, we were planning to go to Harry Potter, Harry Potter, Harry Potter, <laughs> Harry Potter, <laughs> Harry Potter you, World you, and Universal. You like to jump in Harry Puddles? Harry Puddles. Um, and we we went to Magic Kingdom, Epcot, uh, MGM. Oh first. yeah, I remember. And then it was like the last day, and I'm like, "Do we really want to go to Harry Potter Land? Let's go to let's go to 
Animal Kingdom. Like, we've been to all three Disney. Let's, let's go to the fourth one. I mean, I'm, it's probably going to have something cool, right? And we went there. It's like, mm-hmm. Animal Kingdom was probably my favorite of the four. What's the four parks at Disney World again? Epcot, Animal MGM, Kingdom. Magic Kingdom, and Animal Kingdom. And then there's two water parks. What? Wait, what? MGM? This studio? Place? Am I saying that wrong? Is it a different thing? I, I, I have no idea, dude. I mean, I, I'm not as... I don't know as much about... I've never been to Disney World, and I don't know as much about Disney World as I do Disneyland. Because obviously, I mean, I have a season pass for Disneyland. Never... It's MGM Studios, there. I think. I don't know. If, if this is irrelevant to the video. I'm looking it up right now. I'm pretty sure I'm right. Just like... Just like, just like Adam Sandler as... M- the MGM is a fucking hotel, dude. Unless yeah, you're... but it's also... It's a park. This this is irrelevant, such as Adam Sandler starring as Batman. Oh my god, Disney World, show me the ticket to the parks. Is, wait, do you have to buy a ticket for each separate park, or is it like one ticket works for all parks? Disney's Hollywood Studios. See, that's what I thought it was. That's weird. Why would they call it Hollywood Studios when it's in Florida? Um. Fuck Disney's goddamn. Oh my god, my computer's overheating. All right. So let, let, let's finish up the episode real quick. Um, you know, we've just been standing around talking about random shit. So, like I said, well, we want the park entrance right here with, you know, the Naviland sign. We're going to make a kind of an entrance logo. I'm thinking of making the A in Navi look like Navi the Fairy, just for funsies. Wait, Navi the Fairy? Oh. <laughs> it's not. Legend of Zelda. Naviland, Navi does not come from Navi the Fairy, but I think it'd be funny if it did. Or if that uh-huh. specific logo specific. was that. And the person okay. who is Navi is a fairy. That'd be funny. Anyway. But that's not something anyone would understand. So anyway, it spreads out here, and then you can go off towards separate areas, such as uh, Winterland, and those Forest plans. Adventure, um, Desert Land, and Jungle, the Great Jungle Jamboree. Are we going to break off the land so there's going to have to be like... You know how like you can't just cut through like Disneyland, how there's like, specific paths you have to take? Are we going to be cutting off land? I want, I want this to be... Of- like, like here, here's here's what you like. You know, I was saying how uh, it's going to be more about our vision than rather than my vision. Mm-hmm. The layout of the park and the like, the pathing and stuff, and how the whole thing kind of centered around like themes and stuff. I'm going to be more in control of that, like how it's all set up. But if it's like Joey wants to build the hedge maze, I can say, okay, Joey, right here, here's where you can build a hedge maze. Go nuts. And that's what I'm saying. Okay. Yeah, because obviously our but we're, our you design the side on the, the, the our design path has path. to yeah the path can have to be uniform. Yeah, I, I like the idea of you know you walk into a centralized hub which leads to all the separate areas like Disneyland versus Magic Mountain sort of circular pathway. Okay. And are we gonna have a do you agree, are we wait, gonna, do, you, do you agree? With no, that? no, I, I agree hundred percent. Are we going to build a transportation device that goes around the park? Like a, like a, like a train stop, for example? We can either I mean, do underground, like, subway style, or we can do, like, sky rails. All right, because if we did sky rails like Disneyland. Well, so, so Disneyland is not like sky rail, it's more like a monorail. Well, Disneyland has the monorail, and they have the train. The train. Well, they don't really have the monorail. The monorail just takes you from... The park downtown the Disney. Park. Downtown no, Disney. no, no. Well, it takes you all three. No, it does not take you to the parking lot. Monorail takes you to downtown Disney and back to Disneyland. You have to take the the tram to go to. You come off the escalator. Oh, the tr- oh yeah, the tram. There's a tram, and it's nighttime again. All right. Well, with that, we're gonna say goodbye to her for this episode. So from so welcome to the start of the next big project. And uh, next episode, we'll kind of explain where we've been because we neglected to that. We don't need to sing that. <laughs> you don't speak sheep.
Uh, that was not the sheep. That was the, uh, I don't know, whatever. All right, okay. guys. Next time we'll, we'll explain where we've been because we've been kind of absent. So, bye. Bye.